what's up guys welcome back again to my youtube channel my name is vicky guys how you doing thank you so much for clicking on my video to watch please if you have not subscribed to my channel please what are you waiting for now as in have i not given you enough i'm a ball or don't you just like my face oh yeah now see now please hit on the red subscribe button and subscribe to my channel and do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that you'll be informed whenever i post a new video guys today is the head of house game and before i go into this video please i want to encourage you to please head over to my second channel where i make videos on motherhood lifestyle vlogs and every other thing in between quite an interesting channel you really love it there thank you in advance so let me get right into this video quickly guys today is the head of house challenge like as much as the housemates are anticipating and looking forward to 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 playing the game so are we the, me personally and see i've been waiting to actually watch this head of house game because i actually cannot wait for the drama that comes with the decision you get because i was really a uh, as an abebo queen i was really really praying and hoping that somebody from um like somebody that is into some sort of entanglement just wait so that i will just see how it is like how the person will go about the decision you get because this housemate they don't seem to have just one person as the person they have chosen they, they actually played the game they also they did repeat this dice game that they've been playing you get which i think is gender neutral you get so any gender can actually play the game and it won't look as if at uh, this game looks mainly that only guys can really do it well so they played the game and also came out the winner like he got to the, the number 13 like the highest um, number in this and then followed by nengi nengi was the closest and there's nothing like closest in this one so automatically he was he had immunity for from eviction this particular week and you know how it is in this particular season he was given the exclusive rights to pick his deputy which will also share the room with him the head of house room with him and also give that person automatic immunity for the week guys that's where the drama actually started <laughs> that's where the because even the viewers were like who is he going to choose is he going to choose Nengi? Is he going to choose Dora? Because Ozo has refused to move on from Nengi. Ozo has refused to, to, to choose the hustle. Ozo has just refused to be decisive about his decision. Like, it is Nengi, okay, let me stick to Nengi. Or it is Dorati that is my friend. Because both of them are claiming they are his friend. Because the truth of the matter is that Ozo sees Dorati as a friend, you get. But he still he, he, see, he, he sees dorothy as a friend and fancies nengi for an intimate relationship you get and then he got to the point where big brother called Ozo to actually make his decision it was a hustle like it was a struggle for him to be able to make such decision and he finally chose dora and i was like yes to me i when Ozo even won the head of us i was super duper excited because yes i actually wanted him to win and at the time he chose dora i was happy why am i happy not because i'm not a fan of nengi or i don't like nengi or because i wanted dora to be but he actually worked with his head at, at, at that particular point in time which is the right thing to do and not his heart because trust me if nengi had won the head of us i'm not sure nengi would have actually picked also that is no cap like that one is what i'm actually sure of you get so he picked dora i don't know if i would say nengi said she, she she's all right and all that but the annoying part about this whole thing now that is making me bring this gist to you guys i want to make it look as if it's annoying me they have my book queen is that also now after coming out choosing um, dorothy as his um deputy he now went inside the room and started apologizing to nengi that i don't understand what are you to me i feel it is disrespectful i will tell you why because you have made your choice own up and just face it again if you wanted to make the choice of nengi then you should have uh, decided that it's nengi i'm not choosing dorothy and then going now to apologize to nengi for what's respectful to dora to my from my own opinion that's how i feel it just feels like it, come on guy you have to it, it, to me it's childish also walked into this house smart now he's behaving like a don't deal like it it don't go like the one i will always say you get i don't understand why do you go back begging her if she's the one you wanted to choose you would have chose that and then we 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 now saw new talking to dorothy i don't even know what what is new's business or what he's trying to do you get but i feel from what i have watched so far from this show i feel that also is seeing dorothy as a friend but dorothy is giving this vibe of 
if you want to choose Nengi, choose Nengi. Do not come to me. I'm even a bit confused with the way their relationship is actually going between Dorothy and um, Ozo because at this point, I feel like, like me now, I feel like I have guy friends. My friends are guys, you understand? And for some reason, yes, I understand the fact that if my friend is actually trying to date a girl or trying to toast a girl or trying to talk to a girl and I feel like the girl is using his head it gets me pissed and I want to talk to the guy that come on, no they do this kind of thing why they fuck up, this, that, 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 that or if he sees a girl that he likes and he comes to me I'm like, oh yeah, try your best if she agrees, fine but it really pisses me off if I feel why I'm saying this is because I feel that is where Dora is coming from. I feel like it's pissing Dora off that Nengi is actually playing out, so which is uh, which is what Dorothy has just said that she feels like Nengi has refused to actually be decisive. Nengi has been playing him up and down. Nengi has just been tossing us all back and forth. And then sometimes I just feel like it is a little bit complicated because if Dorothy is truly seeing us all like a friend just a friend like she truly claimed i feel like if she if he likes us all and he, he's coming to tell her okay i like nengi and then he's telling um also all right try your best and then also comes back with this drama that he's facing i feel as a girl or as a friend alone that you claim you should be like you should be like i told you so this is why I said, I told you that this guy is playing with him. I'm not feeling like, I'm not giving him that option of saying, you have to choose to either be with me or you be with Nengi. Oh God, there's confusion in this whole people's drama. And at this point, if I don't even know how to judge it, if I will say that Dorothy is not doing her job as a friend that she is, or is she catching feelings for us all, and she's not being um, open about it. Or because from judging from what she's saying, she said she's not catching feelings for him, that she's just seeing Ozo as a friend. And I'm like, okay, if you're seeing him as a friend, there is no need for you to say, choose between the both of us. It's either you're with her or you're with me. To me, I don't, I don't fancy it. I don't, I don't feel like there's truth in that statement. If I see, because I, my friends cannot be like, they are coming to talk to me about a girl, they are talking to a girl, and maybe they are running after a girl, and then I'm like, you, if you're running after her, then stay with her. If you, I don't know if her problem is the fact that Ozo only comes back to her when they have an issue but that's not true also is always hanging around dorothy you get she's hanging, he's hanging around dorothy and he will always say that he fancies nengi but my point is at this very point in time eh, that their triangle is actually confusing to the public because i want to see dorothy from what she said that she's a friend then she should make her stand like you're my friend fine, I support you whatever you are about to do. If you fail at it, I'm still here for you to come back and talk to me about it. And not if he fails at it, he's coming back to talk to you and you're already angry and pushing him away. I don't want to hear, I don't want to hear. Please don't come back to me. Don't put me in that situation. Why are we friends then? That's if you claim you don't have feelings. Why are we friends then? And then for this also, I think also should just get over this Nengi girl of 18. It's, it's, it's irritating. It's becoming very irritating. It's, beco it's getting me very pissed off. The girl is leading you on because if Nengi wanted to, I doesn't want anything to do with you. I feel that she should be straightforward. She's not straightforward. Tell him and be firm about it as a girl, as a lady that I am. If I don't want anything to do with you, I will tell you and I'll be firm about it. I'm not telling you, oh, eh, I like you too. I like you. And then the next thing you turn bomb bomb and shake for him and you're not giving him a firm response. See, guy, this thing is not going to work between the two of us. Let us just be friends and leave it at that. She's not being that, that, that straightforward with that guy. And that is why that guy keeps chasing around her like a puppy. And then the guy said, no, if you open eye, this minute he'll be like, okay, I'm over her. I'm moving on. And then you're still going back to beg her. Or do I say beg? You're still going back to run around her to try to cajole her into entering a relationship with you. If every guy in that house just face their, face other ladies, and even if it's not for a relationship, just talk to them. Then you will calm down because the way everybody is running around her, it's really making her feel like it's really she's enjoying it, and maybe she's not consciously doing it. That might actually be her personality. Don't forget that I am not in support of anybody. I'm not standing anybody at this point. I'm just an Abruco mistress. So I don't I cannot afford to start standing Nengi or start standing Ozo or Dorothy because I can one way or the other bring the all of them their gist to you guys. So at this point, I am neutral, but Talking about it from a neutral perspective, I think at this point, in fact, Ozo should get rid of Nengi and Dorothy and just face the game. He came to, for the game and not to play with this person or to be bestie with this person that is actually causing confusion. That's my own two cents. So that's just what I bring. Ozo is actually the head of house and Dorothy is the deputy head of house. So the both of them are 
not up for eviction this week they are exempted and the whole 16 housemates they are up for possible eviction this sunday so you guys should just vote who you love but mind you this week there is going to be enough drama because we don't know if also and dorothy come out of the head of house room and become a couple finally and let us just know they have picked a hustle whatever it is you're just madam or you're just big i'm coming to give you guys the gist i cannot slack i cannot do you guys i cannot disappoint you guys so if you have watched up to this point and you have not subscribed to my channel hi why are you like this eh, let me ask you have you not been entertained so far as in why why are you a monitoring spirit you come to watch you don't subscribe will it be too difficult for you to just take a, a like a second and just click on that red subscribe button subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification bell so that you'll be informed whenever i post a video thank you so much for watching my video i love you guys and i'll see you guys in my next one i'll come your way soon with another amiable bye guys